y'all see this ignorant, retarded looking, uh, dumb Donald, Huckleberry Hound looking Joker here? This is um Hall of Famer, former Minnesota Vikings, former Philadelphia Eagle Hall of Fame wide receiver. Uh, now nah, he's a host, uh, Chris Carter. From Miami, dope mullet too, but I can't even stand to look at this motherfucker. You know, Chris Carter is a basically a disgusting walking organism. As of late, he figured that he learned his lesson from the last time when he's up here shucking and jiving and got his tap dance shoes on and buck dancing and buck dancing and cooning once again. This time, you know, he up here throwing shade at Colin Kaepernick. You know, um, there was Colin Kaepernick getting blackballed, which I'm not really even going to go ahead and say. I'm going to wait until after the NFL draft for that. But but Chris Carter, I can't even stand to look at this motherfucker. I'll be honest with you. But I, I felt like I had the need to do this one in response to, to not only for my subs, but to... um. I watched Town Beer's uh, video and I watched Cynthia G's on. And I can tell you so much about this fucker here. It's just ridiculous. Even during his tenure when he was here in Miami. You know, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just go to the article here. It's from Total Pro Sports. Y'all know he was on um, Fox Sports 1 recently. Um, speaking like that, I'm just going to make it short, you know. He's, you know, <clears throat> we're a couple of days away from officially being one month into free agency and former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick has still not uh, fielded any calls from anyone around the league. After gaining national attention for his national anthem protest last season, at least one ex-player says Kaepernick is at least partially to blame for his own predicament. There we go. During Wednesday's edition of Undisputed, a uh, Hall of Famer wide receiver and current uh, Fox Sports NFL analyst Chris Carter says that Kaepernick, quote-unquote, set himself up to be, quote-unquote, blackballed. You can't, you can put yourself in a position to be blackballed. When he took a knee for the national anthem, he put himself in a position where he could be blackballed. Carter argued that Kaepernick was such a terrible teammate for years that no one is willing to speak on his behalf to team executives. Okay, you see this right here? Not, not a smear campaign begins. This is an outright lie. If he was once the, such a terrible teammate, how come his own ball club voted him as, uh, as the most popular player in the, in the 49ers locker room? This is just goes to show you uh, the, the deviance of this idiot right here. So let me continue. When you get into situations like this, man, you need somebody to vouch for you. You need someone to vouch for your football IQ, vouch for your character. You need someone to vouch for your leadership. And Cap doesn't have that. Um, Let me go here and go over this over this real 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 quick first thing first number one this the same Chris Carter who like several months ago during the situation with Adrian Peterson do, uh, uh, during the uh, spousal abuse or whatever like that with his son with the switch and all that this the same some bitch right here he threw his own mama under the bus in the presence of mixed company. Typical coonology 101. Saying, my mama was wrong. My mama was wrong. And um, what I'm gonna do, if you, you guys don't believe me, let me just take y'all a trip back down memory lane and let's see if I'm gonna look for this audio that I have saved up here and let y'all hear it for yourself. Underneath it was abuse. 
Yeah, this is the thing, and um, this this goes across all racial lines, ethnicities, religious backgrounds. People believe in discipline in their children. People with any type of Christian background, um, they really believe in discipline in their children. My mom did the best job she could do, raising seven kids by herself. But there are thousands of things that I have learned since then that my mom was wrong. Yes. Thank you. It's the 21st century. My mom was wrong. She did the best she could, but she was wrong about some of that stuff she taught me. And I promised my kids I won't teach that mess to them. You can't be the kid to make them do what they want to do. Right. Thank you. Thousands of things we have learned since then. And now we're to the point, the only thing I'm proud about is the team that I played for. They did the right thing. Yes. Take them off the field. I don't care what it is. We in a climate right now. I don't care what it is. Take them off the dang on field. Because you know what? As a man, that's the only thing we really respect. We don't respect no women. We don't respect no kids. The only thing Roger and them do, take them off the field. Because they respect that. I just wanted to take y'all back down their memory lane. You know, that this... This jingle bell head motherfucker went out there and he threw his own mama under the bus. That was that wasn't last year. It was like a, uh, two years ago, I do believe. And now he's up. He's back on here. He was on undisputed with Shannon Sharp and uh, Skip Bayless, um, talking about with, with with Colin Kaepernick. And once again, you know, this is why he got fired over there at ESPN. You figured that an idiot like him would learn his lesson, but apparently he don't. Look at this some bitch. You can tell the some bitch slow. You know, Chris Carter. Um, he ranks up there as a top. One of the top coons, if not close. I mean, him, David Clark, Stephen A. Snitch. Oh, I can't stand him. Ray Lewis. These motherfuckers really make me sick to my stomach. I mean, to get out there and once again throw shit. And if you notice, um... Cynthia G pointed this out very good too. That a lot of these niggas out here that's cooning like that, there always have to be some dark skinned brothers. Well, I'm a dark skinned brother like that, and ain't no coon ain't no cooning chromosome in me whatsoever. So don't get it twisted. Cause man, look here, I tell I I I whoop ass in a minute. <laughs> you know. But Chris Carter, he he's a really disgusting human being. Very disgusting. I mean, just as bad as David Clark, you know, and Oh, you know, for him to do that against uh, Colin Kaepernick, you know, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something, you know, this is the NFL's way of punishing Kaepernick and Chris Carter just helped put the icing on the cake. You know, this is my thing. And, and, and I'm going I'm to just go, uh, I'm going to say something here right now. You know, this isn't Cool Hunters Thursday. I did that this morning. But one thing I am going to say is this. That look, Colin Kaepernick last year, he stood up for us. He stood up for us when nobody else did. He put it all on the line. He put his career, he put his health, he put his uh, finance, all this stuff, you know. And he genuine with it. Now this is something I'm addressing my people. Listen, black people, here and abroad, we need to go ahead and get behind Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was there for us. It's high tide we be there for him. Because, see, we all, you, you got a lot of these niggas out here that be talking, the talk to my saying, doing this, doing that, but then they ain't really ain't going to do nothing. The same ones be talking about, Oh, well, you know, they got money. They ain't thinking about us, blah, 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 blah. But then when one of them do stand up, now y'all want them to be quiet. I can expect that out of, out of these racist white people. Now, to the white people that's listening to this uh, or who tune in and listen to my videos or whatever, if you know you ain't racist, you know this ain't, if you know you ain't that character I mentioned, then exclude yourself from this because I'm not talking to you. Okay, you know you ain't like this, you shouldn't have nothing to worry about. 
But I am going to call out the racist trolls, you know, from the alt wrong and, and sucker front. You know, them the ones I, I get more than anything um, about with that. But I, we need to go ahead and get behind. You know, we need to be there for him. What y'all need to do, and I'm going I'm to find the link and I'm going to leave it in the description. Uh, me and Town Biz, we're going to get together. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to get with him. I'm going to get with Ticket. I'm going to get with 1LVZ. The whole LDBC, man, look. Oh, uh, no, I'm not watching the situation with Syria. Uh, let's catch it later. Look. This is how we do it. Don't be going out there like protesting and marching. That ain't going to work. If you want to go ahead and you want to really punch white supremacy in the jaw and knock out two of their teeth and give them two black eyes and stuff, I always talked about economics, about group economics. In the NFL, you have 70% of the, of the players and the people that attend the NFL games are, are African American, black, you know? We represent a very large significance of these games. We the ones coming there. We're buying tickets or we're season ticket holders. We the ones buying refreshments. We paying for the seats to come watch football game. Or we, if you can't make it to the game, uh, we're at home. We're ordering NFL Sunday ticket. You know how much that shit costs, okay? Um, football jerseys, all of, everything like that. But. Roger Goodell, the white supremacist himself, who's in on it with all the other 32 NFL owners, including Robert Kraft, because their excuse, they thing is like this. Okay, y'all know the first time they said that they was afraid they were going to get a nasty tweet from 45. Now, they the second excuse saying they don't want to sign Kaepernick because of his diet because, you know, Colin is a vegetarian. Oh, but I just explained that in the last one. You know, but Tom Brady, a, a, a cheater, tw hashtag cheater 12, and Sharon Rogers all take vegetarian diets. But mom's the word. But we all know why. You know, they just doing something we've been doing for years. But it's high tide, dog. We need to st st stand up. And if you wanted, and like, I'm, I'm gonna just repeat what Tom Bill said, but I'm gonna be more blunt. And if you one of these old moist ass dudes who got some disdain toward Kaepernick, and you know, talking about you ain't doing this, uh, you know, because of uh, what y'all don't like about him, or you think he faking and all this stuff, he cooning, man, fuck y'all. Then y'all part of the fucking problem, you know. Chris Carter needs his ass whooped. I mean, several other ways. He just needs his ass whooped several other ways. You know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, link to the, um, uh, link, link in the description, not only to the story, but um, I'm going to get the information too for the officers in the NFL, officers up in New York City. Uh, call up Roger Goodell's number, flood his email, his voicemails, with calls, you know, let them know, and I quote, now we in the black community, if y'all don't get Colin Kaepernick signed to, to a team, we will not be watching any more games, we will not be buying season tickets, we will not be buying no jerseys, no nothing, none of that, anything NFL on it, <clears throat> we don't want it. Boycott the games, you know, that's how you do it, so that thought is all nothing but entertainment anyway. Or better yet, not only make phone calls, also hit them on their emails too. Because you got to understand something. The NFL is a corporation. And corporate, corporate is always going to respond to emails. You know, Chris Carter, man, you, you a piece of shit. Fuck you.